Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are launching space welding next month. The impact analysis next phase is in two months, and then we have the funding review in three months. Our active missions are the Uranus flyby, which will complete in one year, seven months. The impact analysis, the space welding, then we're pre prepping two missions, the Mars prep robotic rover and the Mars prep crewed rover. So that is pretty darn cool. The crewed rover is done in five months. The payload and the robotic rover vehicle is done in eight months. So let's continue on. And we're researching the Mars crewed lander, which is a requirement for our final missions. So next month, space welding. It's a challenging mission. It's very reliable on the launch, not so much on the payload, but we have two crew on board. And the conditions are good. There's basically 1% chance of a critical failure and 99% chance of a positive event because of the upgrades we did to it. So let's go. Off goes the shuttle again. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? And a beautiful night launch. Wonderful. We're out of here. We are out of here. All right, so we definitely get a positive event. No doubt about that. Plus one turn on first task in mission. Okay, Hermes is super reliable. And space welding it is. We need to deal with drift. We need 10 of each. And we need to bring our drift up to between eight and 10. Okay, we have three crew. So why don't we do a manual data collection and then conduct some experiments. We have five turns, two commands per turn only. So I think this is pretty good start. Except that. All right, let's do that again. That gives us the 10 data that we need and brings us close to where we need to be on the drift side of things. Let's resist that. Okay, then we can do a manual data collection again. And then a flyover course adjustment. That gives us seven, ten, and four. Dang it. All right, we have two turns remaining. Now if we did a data transmission, then we could do a flight path control. And I think that will work for us, so long as we don't have to assist anything. Nice. Uh, critical success with an extra nav. Not bad. All right. So that means that we just need to do a flyover course adjustment and we can recharge our power for two power. And that gives us our 15% bonus reward. And we are within drift range. So very good. Resist that. And there we go, achieve Earth orbit. And then we need to conduct mission EVAs where we need to deal with drift again. Okay. We need 10 comms, 14 data, no nav. 
We have six power, and our drift needs to be between minus one and one. Okay. Well, we'll do a manual data collection and conduct some experiments. We only have four turns this time because we had an extra one on the first round. So manual data collection will cause some drift, but gives us four comms. Conducting experiments will cost two of the comms, but gives us five data. I think that's fine. Okay. Then... I think I want to do a flight path control. And then a manual data collection. That gives us seven and seven and two nav. All right. That worked out. Then we can do another flight path control, I think. And a data transmission. That puts us within range there. Then we just need to do vis two visual spectrum samplings on the last one, and that gives us the 35% bonus reward. So let's do it. And we have enough power that we can resist twice. So that's the reward achieved. And we actually get an extra nav. All right. Then we need to perform a controlled re-entry, where we need to deal with heat. The heat will go up between 1 and 3 every turn, so we'll do a manual data collection and conduct some experiments. We need 10 comms, 14 nav. We again have 4 turns, 2 commands per turn. So I think this works. Assist that. Nice. Uh, little bonus there. For an extra nav, which we definitely can use. And how much heat do we get? One. All right. All right. Now, we could do two ground control connections to give us six and five. And leave us with one data. I think I'm good with that. Very good. Dang it. We'll assist it. And that gives us another heat. Uh, so... If we spend two crew on four comms... Then we can spend... A crew on the flight path control. Which gives us 11 and 7. That means we need 7... Hmm... That won't work. But if we do a flyover course adjustment, that gives us 9 and 9, which means we need 5 and 1. So we could do a flight path control. That would give us... Hmm. I'm not sure we can do this. Right, fly over course adjustment. What if we do this twice? That gives us 4 and 13. Then we can do a 
data transmission, which gives us that, and a flight path control, which does not get us there. I don't think we're getting the last 50% bonus reward. Right, manual data collection. And flyover course adjustment. That gives us nine and nine. Then we can do a flight path control. But we can't get three nav anywhere without spending one of those. What if we did this? And this? Oh. That gives us six and seven. That's not good. Nine and nine is certainly better. We're not getting that 50% bonus award. No matter what, I think. I must have screwed something up earlier. Alright. So if we... ping the location... Do a flyover course adjustment. That gives us the nav, but not the com. No, there's no way. There's no way. Alright, fine. And our shuttle is returning home. Alright. And I do love this cutscene. It looks so cool when the shuttle lands here. So cool. Beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Alright, well, 50% bonus award is not bad. 2,600 support and... 1,010 science for five months. That's actually quite okay. And those three guys will be recuperating. We only need eight more support to get our next funding tier. Eight more. Eight. Maybe we'll get it with the next phase of the impact analysis. Who knows? I guess we'll find out this month. Uh, and that's the atmospheric entry, so yeah, we should get it. Nice. And here we need to deal with heat again. And we need 8 com, 4 data, 4 nav. We have 4 turns, 3 commands per turn. We need to keep our heat below 4, and it's at 4 now. So, how about we do a visual data collection and then we do two orbital realignments. That gives us two COM, four nav, and takes our heat way down. I think that works. We want that 50% bonus reward, of course. And that takes our heat back up to three. So, how about, the heat is okay where it is, but I wouldn't mind getting it down a bit. So if we do a mission data update, and then an orbital realignment, that gives our heat down and gives us 5 and 5. 
And then we can do a magnetic field analysis to give us four, three, and five. Ooh, that was close. And ooh, a bonus, nice. An extra there. So four, four, and five. And where does our heat go? It goes way up to five. Okay. Let's do an orbital realignment. Let's actually do that twice, I think. And then another magnetic field analysis. That takes us to five, five, and nine. Uh, how do I then get three comms? Well, I just do that and that, I guess. Dang it. Okay. Heat goes up again. So if we do a mission data update and another mission data update. Then we can do an orbital realignment, giving us our 50% bonus reward. We can't. We can resist once if we need to. We did there. Mm, that costs one. We're at six, so we'll just accept that. And there we go. Mission complete. And that should give us the support that we need. Yep. 983 support and 732 science for four months and some onboard cameras not bad not bad at all and i guess next month we finish with the mars crewed lander and we have our funding review and we hit the next milestone for uh, support for the next tier of support so that's kind of nice. But re re budget review January 1992. And we did hit the mark. So go up to 867,000 a month. And we need to get to 135,000. That's 25,000 we need. Wow. All right. Mars crew lander research complete. An advanced descent and ascent vehicle assigned to land humans on the surface of Mars. All right. Now, that's the next Mars mission. Uh, so let's start on the engine and habitat. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, we have a new mission here. Exoplanet Hunter. Wow. 8,880 science. It's a challenging mission. And we have a new mission on Mars, and that's, of course, our Mars Prep Crew rover. Well, uh, our Mars Requirement Send Lander, it is, of course, which we will plan now, because we do have a mission slot, because I didn't start a new one in last month. I guess it's going to be standard. 70% uh, payload reliability, 6 power, 3.6 million. Let's build it. Nine months, that'll take. We are making really good progress right now. As in really, really good progress. I mean, we're going to finish that first. We're going to finish that first. We're going to finish that first. And then we need the ground hab. Which no one has researched yet. And then it's crude landing time. Nice! Next month. A new request mission available here. Laboratory module. We already have that, I think. Oh, no negative effect can occur during launch. Does not affect critical events. Okay. 
that's actually quite nice. That is actually quite nice. Mars Crude Rover complete next month. And there it is. Isn't that a beauty? Isn't that a beauty? Let's design the vehicle. And we need... We have to have Ariane 6. 1.7 million. And for the booster... We can go with Saturn. Which is 85% reliability. Costs 1.9 million. Or... We can go with the SLS Block 1, which is only 60% reliability, It's and it's more expensive. So let's just go with Saturn V, shall we? I just want to see, oh, we could also do the SLS Block 1B. But why would I ever do that? Because Ariane is more reliable, it's cheaper, and it takes a shorter time to build it. We will have an upgrade on this and we will... Ooh. Uh, plus 5% launch reliability, definitely. And then we'll also use Measure Aerospace to get the launch reliability up even more. It'll take five months longer to build, but I'm okay with that to get the reliability up to 84%. 2 million to build it. Let's do it. One year, seven months. Okay. Uh, happiness complete in three months, but our Mars requirement engine and habitat is done next month. Oh, bounty of science from Mars samples. Martian rock and dust samples retrieved by your Mars prep sample retrieval mission have resulted in an astonishing 50 scientific papers with no sign of the rate of the publication slowing down. The scientific harvest is a result of the extensive analysis only possible due to having access to the samples on Earth gained a thousand science. Very nice. And the engine and habitat got done. So let's do the payload. And continue on to the next month. And we already have 3,700 of that research. Happiness is complete. We have a new request mission here. Observations module. Increased propellant capacity. Hmm. Alright, next month. And there's the Mars Prep robotic rover vehicle. With the first time we use uh, boosters, I think. Launch reliability is 99%. Nice. And we'll, of course, do science training on this. And the launch date will be... May. I'm not going for a risky launch. We're going as reliable as we can. The payload is pretty reliable. Actually, you know what? We don't really need the uh, the science, I think. Not so much, anyway. And that's fine. That gives us a payload reliability of 90%. I like that. Confirm. Launching in 11 months. Beautiful. And the Mars Crude Lander is complete in four months. NASA shares payload upgrade. Due to your close relationship, NASA has shared an improvement in guidance software that will be of direct benefit to your current Mars Prep Crude Rover. Payload reliability of Mars Crude Rover in your Mars Prep Crude Rover mission has been increased by 10%. Nice! It was only 65. So that is really, really nice. Uh, what? Russia has reached 25% Mars redness. Uh, what, are, what is everyone doing? 
Current researching Voyager, most recent milestone was the moon land, crude moon landing. They are so vibe behind, it's ridiculous. X-ray telescope, uh, most recent is the space telescope. It's now Russia and not the Soviet Union. No upcoming launch. China, uh, currently researching Jupiter orbiter. Most recent milestone was the Mercury orbit. And the upcoming launch is Neptune flyby in two months. Japan, currently researching Galileo. Wow. Uh, most recent milestone is the X-ray telescope and the upcoming launch is the Mars lander. Galileo, wow. They're behind. Uh, all right, Mars crude lander is complete or Mar Mars engine and hab module research complete. A propulsion stage and habitat module designed to dock with a crude spacecraft before traveling to Mars. Nice. That looks cool. Mars crude lander plus 25% support reward plus 25% vehicle build time. Yeah, that's okay. Payload reliability is 70%. Why do I have a mission slot that I'm not using? That's a mistake. Well, we'll go with the Ariane 6 and uh, the booster will be the Saturn V, giving us a 79% launch reliability. Then we will do reinforced tank walls for extra launch reliability, and we'll go with Messier Aerospace, increasing the duration of the build by five months, but getting our launch reliability up to 94%. Build that vehicle. We need to start research something because we have done that. So I actually think I'm going to wait on this. And I am going to go with... The SLS Block 2 booster and upper stage. Get those done. Because we're so far ahead. We are so far ahead. And we now have the Mars Requirements Send Lander, which we are already planning. It's the... The crude rover we're already planning. Robot rover we're already planning. It's the Mars Requirement Engine and Habitat. I keep missing that exclamation mark. It looks so much like the number one that it's like, okay, well, I've done that. But that's the mission that we're going with. It's only a one month mission, nice. Doesn't give up much either, but let's do it. It's gonna be standard. And build that payload. That will take six months. We have a new request mission at the moon. Lunar radiation. For some money. We might actually need some money soon. Okay. I think we're looking pretty good. We're doing four Mars prep missions. Two of them, the required ones. We already have one under the belt, so 25% preparation. And we're almost up to the 60% required to be allowed to do it. So yeah, we're going to be very, very ready to do it. I forgot to click the mission. All right, let's just see. All our mission slots are active. Uh, we have the funding review in three months. Then we have the Mars engine and hab module done in six months. Then we're launching the robotic rover in seven months and the next phase of the Uranus flyby in seven months. So let's just go to uh, next event. Okay, budget review. We got 600 support since last time, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Uh, what did the others do? Russia, 
We are a foreign multiplayer into a species. Japan is launching Saturn orbiter in 20 months. China completed phase one of Neptune flyby. Okay. What is everyone else's Mars readiness? 29, 28, 25, and 13 still. NASA, what the heck are you guys doing? Jupiter Polar Orbiter. Challenging mission. A lot of science. A lot of science. But we don't need to do it. And again, I did not click the damn mission. There. Oh, we have another one. That's Saturn. Saturn Ring Survey together with Russia. Nah. Alright. Let's continue on to the next event, I guess. New joint mission available on Earth. If it's with the P Japan, then I will consider doing it. Mars requirement. Engine and habitat payload complete. Minus 20% vehicle build cost. Nice. But plus 25% build time. Not so nice. But we are actually running a little bit low on funds, so I don't mind at all that it is cheap. Wow, we have to use this bad boy now. The Ariane 6 can't even do it. How heavy is it? 90,000. Can you carry it? Only 65,000. So SLS Block 1B with 65% launch liability. Eesh. And the booster will be... Let's see. You get 85%. So it will be the Saturn V. That gives us 78% launch reliability. Then we'll do the reinforced tank walls for an extra boost. And we'll do also use measure aerospace to get it up to really high launch reliability. It'll take 25 months to build, but that's okay. 93% launch reliability. I like that. 2.2 million, not too expensive. Two years, one month. Okay. Then we are launching the Mars Prep Robotic Rover, and we have the next phase of the Uranus flyby next month. But we will get to those in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.